Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? And welcome back to the 42nd Let's Play of F1 2021, my team. We're going down under, we're in Australia now. It's less than 3 days to go to decide the championship. The deficit is down to 40 points. It's getting down to the wire. We basically have to continue our winning momentum. Uh, put a strong performance. Uh, finish ahead of Boras, basically. Finish one race behind Boras, we have lost the championship. It's that close now. We still have a lot of chase, uh, catching up to do. We're still 45, 40 points behind, which is a lot. But we can, I think we can do it. The car space is looking decent in Australia as well. So let's go. Let's head into quality and let's see what we can do. Okay guys, here we go. It's gonna be start of Q1 now. We're gonna be heading doing our first lap. The setup for Australia is a bit... Uh, the run, setup I run for Australia is a bit on the line, very... Uh, the car is very sensitive, so it's gonna be interesting how we will be doing quality. Here we go, our first lap. The car has been on the edge, it's like a knife edge. It's very, very new. Like, the problem with the car is, it's fast, it's very fast, but... It's fast, but it's very tough to drive. So, it's a handful, that's for sure. To get a perfect lap done is not light work at all. So, we have to put a great lap each session. We could be in the contention for being up there, to be honest. But that's, that's the easy thing to say, but very hard to do. Ah, a bit deep there. Oh, okay. That we definitely lost some time there. We do the fastest lap. Oh, it's very on the edge. Almost lost it there. Almost lost it. Decent exit. Entry was a bit slow. to nail this last corner down you can get a lot of lock ups here okay we go straight to the line now put the, put the pedal to the foot and we've gone faster than the one fantastic that was the fastest lap two that's pretty decent you start to know when the mercs start to completing the laps then we start to realize how good it is actually at the moment pretty decent my time is getting beaten by the two mercedes at the moment but not by that much actually oh so, yeah we can definitely improve that was not the greatest but this should be good enough to take a few two for sure yeah, what did yuki do that's the question yuki p12 he made it but again that pace is lacking for yuki i don't know his focus is just completely down at the moment here we go guys uh q2 now we ended the second qualifying it's gonna get interesting at the moment. Team may status. They're in ninth. Here we go, guys, for our first lap. These are first, uh, first socks, by the way. The new socks. We want to grip a lot. Hopefully, we can put a competitive lap. Ah, oh. God, it's so hard to control. You have to focus so much, or you just spin. Bit deep there. They have to push the second sector here. That was much faster than the last time. Getting a lot of curve there, the sausage curve. Getting a lot of sausage, pause. Again, a lot of curvage there. Definitely better corners this time. Much faster. Trusting a car a bit more here, much more confident, getting used to the twitchiness of the car. Pretty solid lap till now, honestly. Probably a third, third corner is the one that's is known. The 
This is looking like a very good lap, guys. Let's see what we can do today. 2019-7. That's an incredibly fast lap. I think. But that's faster than the Mercs. Last lap for sure. We're gonna take this tire back. So this is the tire we're gonna be using at the start of the race. So. But guys, at our moment, at the moment, our lap is pretty good. T tends up on anybody. Lando has the fastest lap. The Mercs, they're doing mediums. Which is um, interesting. Their strategy is completely different to mine. I wanna go with softs for sure. My softs are pretty good as well. Hopefully Yuki's into Q3. He just missed it. I'm all alone again. Oh, they went on to softs and they were two tenths off than me. Valtry almost four tenths. Wow. So what I thought was a great lap turned out to be an average lap because the Mercedes are that quick. Okay. I can't compete with them. Okay. <laughs> oh my days, guys. The weather has changed. Oh my god, it's changed. Drastically, it's much gloomier now. It, it looks like it's gonna rain. But that could really be a factor here. Weather report. Radar suggests some weather is gonna hit in around five minutes time, so stay on your toes. So Dry lap... seem like the fastest tire at the moment. So guys, our first lap is gonna be the one. Because if it starts raining, we're not gonna get a faster lap time then. We definitely have to do our first lap and get it done. It has to be a good one. And we have to get to the line and start a good lap because you never know when it's when it's gonna start raining. That's very interesting. Turning the engine board to standard. Here we go. Here we go guys, we're gonna it's the top ten shootout here. It's gonna be our first lap of Q3. The top ten shootout. Come on, come on. Here we go. Uh is that decent? I don't even know. Kinda decent. We're gonna rain in this corner down. pushing the car through that line. I think it's not up to the pace with most, but we can still get a front row. Come on. I think it, I took it decently, but not the quickest I could have. The car is so edgy, it looks like it's a To the line 19.4. That's the fastest lap so far. Well done. 19.4. How good is that? That's the question. Oh, oh that's faster than Bottas time. What? It's faster than Bottas time. It looks like it's gonna start. It's raining, guys. It is raining. We could have secured a pole because the battery is not out yet and it's gonna get better. It is raining. That's actually good for us because our time is gone set in the dry, so Okay, yeah, this left me desperate now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this time is not gonna get beaten. Definitely not in this weather. Let's see what if we'll try. We can abort. Let we can see if there's enough grip. Yeah, there's not enough grip. We there's only see. one lap of fuel remaining. We are boarding, we are boarding this time. Definitely a bonus. Valtteri beats this in the wet, right? No, there's no bonus. And with qualifying yeah, complete, oh my let's god, we're lucky. Top three today: the Golden Boy, Bottas, and Lewis lucky. Hamilton. Goodbye for now, then. But we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for lights out tomorrow. This is a big advantage for the race, guys. Let's go. So here we are at the Albert Park circuit. 
3.3 miles around the lake, with the street track making for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 16 corners here, with the best passing opportunities coming at Turn 1 and Turn 3. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. The Golden Boy lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Perez, Lando Norris and Leclerc, Gasly, Verstappen, Ricardo, and Yuki Tsunoda, Ocon, Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi and Sainz. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Fettel, Tigtum, Lance Stroll and Mick Schumacher. Mazepin, Latifi, Schwartzman. They've taken a grid penalty. And Roy Nassani. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Only three races left. You still have a chance at the title, but we're going to need some special performances. See what you can do. Uh, is Jeff giving up some motivation at the moment of telling us telling us how it's going to be? Um, we have to get some special performances in. We're still in the shop with the title. It's going to be lights out at Australia. Be lights out at Australia. Five red lights, and away we go. A slow start by me. The Mercedes are on me. They're attacking me in the first corner. A bit of contact by with Hamilton, I think. Vehicle condition? No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Go on, Sid. There's no damage. Oh, Valtteri's There's falling down in the pack, guys. On track, resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Lando is out. Lando is out. Does that bring in a safety car? Does Lando being out bring out a safety car? I don't think so. Lewis is attacking me for some reason. His pace is looking extremely strong while Boras is struggling. He's five seconds behind Lewis. BSC. Caution, the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track. The heck is this guy doing? Heck is this guy doing? Why is he racing me? Get ahead of me. Get from me, bro. Bro, what the heck is this guy doing? VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. Green flag. That guy was definitely not following the VSC or something. We are pushing. Very hard now. We are gaining on Lewis now. But that Merc is a killer in the straights to be honest. That car is rapid. We lost time there. We definitely lost time there. Oh, this is gonna be intense. To be honest, I think I can hold Lewis back. To be honest, 
DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Is he gonna get DRS? I don't think he is. Is he? Uh, yeah, he is definitely getting DRS. Oh, indeed that. Gas is up to P3. Leclerc P5, Max is P... Oh, sorry, Leclerc P4. Going for a fastest lap of 20 here. Max is about the fastest lap at the moment. I'm gonna try and beat that. He doesn't have DRS on this straight. He's using a lot of DRS at the moment to burn that off. Keep that deficit over a second. Which is hard to do when Lewis is on your back because. Even though Lewis is not strong as Valtteri this season, he's still a great driver in this game. So, I mean, in real life as well, with a seven time world champion. We got the fastest lap, let's go. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. What Lewis is doing for me, which is not good, he's pressuring me and making the push, which in turn, tire deck isn't feeling the greatest at the moment. I don't know what's happened to Valtteri, I don't know where he's fallen back, which is good, which is good, which is definitely what we want, which is ideal at the moment. Oh, the star Valtteri has had is incredible, he bad, but incredible for us. Uh, teammate status? Gap to teammate behind is 18.3 seconds, they're on fresh hearts, they're in ninth. The time last fresh lap hearts. was a 1 minute 26.8. What kind of strategy is that? Fresh hearts starting with hearts? A new strategy is available on the MFD. Copy that. Can take medium if the tires last that long, you are sure. Medium dead wasn't that high honestly. Pretty good. Extending the state soft testing doesn't seem as a bad idea though. At the moment we're just battling fastest laps, we can get the fastest lap. And I can, let's go. I think I can start pushing again, not that many laps left till a bit. We definitely got a last. Okay. That's not required. No need for that. Just drive for us. Simple and easy driving. Nothing else. I still can't believe he hasn't been it. He has to pick soon. Yep. As I thought. I'm going for that overcut. Which We're I think approaching is the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. At this point, we are kind of in a good position. If we get a good pit stop in, we should be chilling. Go, go. Point six, that's not bad. Hamilton is coming around the corner, I think. It's gonna be tight. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. That's Hamilton behind me. Three seconds. Yo, that's an extremely good overcut by us. Extremely smart as well. Overcut. Okay. See how it is. UK in P3. Definitely on merit, on pace. Overtaking everybody. So. 
Oh, that was too close to the wall. Didn't need to be like that. Can we do a Grand Slam? That's the question. Can we do a Charles Leclerc in Australia? Stay ahead every lap of the race. Quali P1. Stay ahead every lap of the race. Don't get overtaken. Pit stop information. Pit strategy complete. Okay. See these tyres through to the end now. We're leading our teammate by 12.9 seconds. So the team is confident these tyres can last. I'm also kind of confident that these tyres can last, to be honest. Another lap car we're going to catch. Wait, power Carlos signs it out. It looks like it's the end for Carlos, guys. He's a diamond. Hopefully this doesn't trigger our safety car, that's not good for us. Mechanical failure looks like. We don't want a safety car, no safety car. Mikey, please no safety car. Mike, Michael, Michael, please no safety car. Michael, Michael, no Michael. Okay, clear. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Almost had uh, Abu Dhabi first Rex, but... I'm cool. Mikey, please no safety car. Okay, watch your pace. We've been informed that the safety car is out. There Lewis appears to is be out an of the issue session? with multiple stopped vehicles on the track. Mikey, please no safety car. Mikey? Mikey? Whoa, that's a big dent for Lewis Hamilton. You can get pit now. Yuki should be pitting. Yuki should be pitting. Please, Yuki. The signs and the two cars. We're now. coming up to the safety car now. Do not pass it. You are the leader. Follow the safety car. Can I tell Yuki to pit? Yuki pit. Yuki, you need to pit, bro. Yes, Yuki. Yes, Yuki. Oh my God, this might be good for Yuki. Not good for us, but good for Yuki. Not that many people. Is Valchi pitting? Valchi is not pitting. Yuki is coming in for his stop. Good, good. That's good, guys. Let's go. Are these lap cars? Do we have to let them go? Oh my god, this is feeling like Abu Dhabi, guys. What's the need for, what's the need for this all drama? Hey, hey, hey. Please. Hello. Driver behind. Gasly behind. Car gap behind is 8.6 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tires are 8 laps old. The time last lap was a 127.5. Mikey, please no safety car. Mikey, Michael, Michael, please no safety car. Michael, Michael, Mikey, please no safety car. Voila! Teammate status, teammate status. Teammate status. Gap to teammate behind is 34.1 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're in seventh. Oh, W, that's W for Yuki. Fresh mediums. He's gonna do well. He might come up some places. That's Valtry. Battery. Okay, the safety yep. car is coming in this lap. We'll be pacing the field in sector three. Make sure to respect the delta until the safety car is in the pit lane. Nicely. Here we go. We're back to the back nicely there. We're gonna over the green flag. Place. We're leading our teammate by two point nine seconds. I'm leading comfortably. I, I want to know what's happening in the back. Some 
be the last lap now. Here we go. A pretty dominant weekend. The Grand Slam. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. P1 in poly. Started the race on P1. Gap to teammate behind is 15. the whole race. Seconds. Top class weekend. Probably the best weekend I've had the whole season dominance wise. This is better than Singapore because this isn't this isn't a track that is suited for our car. To do this well on this track is pretty surprising. And honestly mind-boggling. How do we have this much space that we didn't a few weeks ago in you know, some weekends? Even in Coda we didn't have the space. But Brazil we had pace and now Australia we have pace. Hopefully Jeddah we have pace and hopefully Abu Dhabi we have pace if you want to win at this point. But this has been an incredible, incredible weekend. The margin. Bottas is probably going to finish P4 or P3, nothing more than that. So which is ideal. I expect him to finish ahead of me or behind me. P1 or P2. So him not finishing in the top 3 is going to be brilliant. That's not going to be 12 points. What has been disappointing though for uh, overall uh, from this weekend has been Yuki. Yuki Sonoda, he has been pretty disappointing. This is gonna be our first win in Australia. We're coming back in the championship. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it, guys. Let's hey, go! Jeff, thanks for your work this weekend. Well done, mate. Team effort. Thanks to all the boys. That's a race win and your second race win in a row. Fantastic job. Yes, boys. Let's go. Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralised. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Incredible weekend. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, <laughs> that lead has taken a oh, over to Ocon, today. Finally. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. Yep. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack. But it's the P7 driver's to P1 job to capitalise on those pretty, opportunities, pretty and he did so with a lot of skill. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they managed to secure the constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, McLaren now. who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time? Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest. Ex Oh, what a great weekend. What a great weekend. Our margins are looking good right now. I think we've got room for some more investment. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the let's play here. We're going to go into Jeddah next weekend, which is going to be a great track. You know, it's a very fast and thrilling race there. The DRS there is absolutely broken, so that's going to be interesting. We're going to try our best there. I'm going to get some new engine parts for that. Where is happening? So we're going to try and A great weekend for us, a Grand Slam. Paul. Led every every lap of the race and the race went like amazing, amazing weekend. Didn't expect it. We're coming back in the championship. Only 26 points between us now. Let's go, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.